Hey guys, it's Hockeyman91 here, and this is Tech Tuesday, a new segment that I'm starting. Today's question, should you buy the iPhone 5 in 2015 or 2016? Alright, before we get started, I'd just like to mention that if you would like to know whether or not you should buy the iPhone 4 or 4S, links to those videos will be in the description below. Alright, let's get going. First of all, let's get some history. The iPhone 5 was launched in September 2012 and was the first Apple iPhone with a 4 inch screen. It was available in the following colors, slate or silver. The iPhone 5 looks identical to the 5S except it has the old style home button which has a square inside of a circle. This is one really beautiful phone. The new iPhones of course all have Touch ID and this phone does not. It does use a nano SIM card which is very common nowadays. This 3-ish year old phone isn't getting any younger and now we will tackle the question of whether or not you should either buy it or keep it. It sports the Quick A6 processor, which is the same found in the iPhone 5C. The most modern processor on the market right now for Apple, of course, is the A9 processor, which can be found in the 6S and the 6S Plus. It comes in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models. It's got an 8 megapixel eyesight camera and can film 1080p HD video. The FaceTime camera has 1.2 megapixels and can film in 720p. The price can vary, but for an unlocked 16 gigabyte model, you could be looking at anywhere from $150 to $200. If you have an iPhone 5, you're probably looking at one to two years of being supported by Apple's new iOS releases. So again, back to the question of whether or not this iPhone is still worth it, or of course, is it obsolete? The iPhone 5 is completely usable today in 2015. Yes, you might experience a little lag here and there, but for the most part, nothing's going to really bog you down. It should be able to handle most games, 3D or 2D, and the battery life shouldn't be anything to complain about. Of course, it's fairly fast when it comes to internet, especially when it has a Wi-Fi connection. It can run iOS 9 and is generally a really great phone. So is it obsolete? Absolutely not. Is it still worth buying or should you consider upgrading? Let me put it this way. In my personal opinion, it would be much more worth it to go for the 5S, which is uh, $250-ish. The 5S at this point is not only a more capable phone, but it also includes some cool features such as Touch ID. The 5S is considerably faster with its speedy A7 processor and the extra year or two you'll get of support makes it the better phone to buy. So if you're cheap, the 5 will be good, but if you're willing to dig a little deeper into your pockets, then definitely go for the 5S. Alright guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like. What do you guys think? Is the iPhone 5 still worth it? Let me know in the comments below as well as the product you would like me to review next. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. See you later.